today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Spin Master Star Wars Box Busters, the Death Star. I had a look at the smaller sets, the two-pack sets, the Battle of Yavin, as well as the Tusken Raider Attack, and wanted to have a look at the larger set as well. Game rules play, pretty much play out the exact same way, although you're going to be doing it on a much larger scale. Comes to us from the folks over at Spin Master Toys, warning choking hazard, small parts not for children under three years of age. Spin around the back of the package. The Death Star opens, or pops open. As well, you've got the same uh, battle play that uh, the we had a look at with the other sets. And speaking of other sets, the other sets down below are the Battle of Yavin, the Endor Attack, which we oh, love to get the Endor Attack, and battle, battle of Hoth. To check out more from, oh, actually, you know what? Before we do that, the Death Star was the Empire's ultimate weapon, a moon-sized space station with the ability to destroy an entire planet. But the Emperor and the Imperial officers, like Grand Moff, Tarkin underestimated the tenacity of the Rebel Alliance, who refused to bow to this technological terror. And, as well, you can go to www.spinmaster.com and check out some of the other cool pieces that they've got over there. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up, but when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Star Wars Box Busters Death Star. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. So now we got the Box Buster Death Star out of packaging. Let's get a better look at first the instructions. Spot touched, touched base on the instructions a lot with the previous Box Busters, but pretty much works the exact same way. Although, again, you're going to be looking at a much bigger scale of everything. you got yourself a dice that has the single blast, special, another single, shields, and double blast. you also got yourself some charge tokens. You get not one, but two, and both of them have Star Wars on the front. And, for that matter, actually on the back as well. And you've also got yourself a hit score marker. So the mat itself, again, is exactly like the smaller ones, just a lot bigger. And you can see how it works. Well, you've got your charge zone at the top. It works the exact same way. So it shows you also the legend of uh, how the attacks work. Spot, like the other video, also is showing off the English, the French side. Let's flip it over to the English side. But you have your charge area where you can store your charge tokens for future attacks. Shows you how the special attacks work. Special plus uh, the single blast equals a three charge, or three blast. Uh, the opposing player cannot block this damage. A special plus two captures two areas. Special plus shield, opposing player cannot close their battle cube for the rest of the game. And special and special cause enough damage to claim all four areas. And as you are claiming all four areas, then you're going to be using your, your marker here, your, your attack marker, and you're going to be moving from area to area until finally you get to the command center. And that's the goal of the game per se. I'm going to move everything kind of out of the way here. And I want to lay this out. Because, much like the other ones too, you're going to place the cube you place the cube on the mat itself so that when the final hit, you press the button there, it's going to open up. I'll show you guys that in a second. Works also the same way too where you've got the advanced game too, where you can use the charging, uh, the charging tokens to store up a charge on your attacks. And uh, then on the side, we've got, again, the Special Tokens Command Center. The special symbol can now be used to activate the special attack. Combos listed in your command panel activating a special attack takes the place of raising or lowering battle cube shields. And again, you've got your charge area at the top. Now, so we've, again, we've kind of covered it with the previous review when we had a look at the other uh, box busters. Let's have a look at the box itself. This one's a lot bigger a lot bigger than the one we already had a look at and segueing myself over to one of the other cubes I just quickly folded it up. You can see the difference between them. That kind of kind of reminds me of the Borg cube. But a lot lot bigger than the Tuscan battle here. The Star Wars icon at the top is your activation points. So when you press that down, that will open up the box. And we've already seen this one in play. Press this open and there you've got the Tuscan attack there. 
Tuscan Raider attack. Really, really cool. I like these. No exception to detail. Let's press the button on the top here. And this one's going to open up a lot bigger, so I'm going to kind of move my hand out here. That opens up. That opens up. And let's have a quick look at all the stuff that's going on here. we got a Y-Wing down below. And none of these are removable. Um, we've got two TIE Wings. There are two <laughs> TIE Fighters. We've got TIE Advance. We've got the Millennium Falcon. And we've got an X-Wing at the end here. In the middle is the the Death Star. And also too with the Death Star, you can press the button here to pop open the Death Star. And press it off enough, you can pop it actually completely off there. It sits just back into place. It's cool. It doesn't really have a lot of stars on there, but that's okay. I think the novelty, and I said this with the other video too, obviously the draw is the game itself. I think the game is pretty cool. And if you have friends over, you guys can have a you know a blast. It's basically like a one to two player. Well, it's a two player game uh, more often than not because you can be playing against somebody. But I think even if you aren't playing it, the play sets and I say play sets, but I think the, the actual sets are pretty cool for what's on them. A little Millennium Falcon, a little Tie Fighters. Perhaps I would hope, maybe that Spin Master sees a big potential in this as making these little pocket-to-go playsets. I think, to be honest, that is the real money. Games like these, to be honest, can kind of come and go, but when you get really fun little activities like this, and I think Mighty Max, I think the old Micro Machine playsets, if they could get into something like this, I don't know if they have licensing conflicts with being able to release these as playsets, but imagining being able to take these cubes with you on the go and be able to remove you know, the TIE, TIE Fighters, the TIE Advance, the Millennium Falcon, playing with it, and then being able to fold it up when you're ready to go. I think that, I think that almost is cooler than the game itself, if I could be completely honest. I mean, it's portable enough that you could take it to Nana's house, your friend's house, Billy's house, and uh, you know, when you're ready to play, again, that just pops right open. Don't explode the Death Star before you play the, the game itself. But I think that's where, to be honest, where the draw is for these. I think these are really cool, even if you don't necessarily play the game. The, play, the game's neat, but I think the real draw is, to be honest, with these. Today's, uh, today's Toy Spot, we were continuing our looks at the Spin Master Toys Star Wars Box Busters. We're having a look today at the Death Star. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots in your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.